I'm Nastasia Nicolau and I'm with The Nocturnal. You're okay. beautiful. You are beautiful. Thank you so much. You're very, very stunning. I thought the same about you this entire movie. You nice. looked amazing, but this is very much a coming of age story that kind of discusses the controversial topic of pro-choice versus pro-life, but in a very, very funny way. Um, but why was it important for you to kind of tell this story? Wow, I am so distracted because you're stunning. Okay. Oh my okay. gosh. Your eyes are so pretty. Okay, um, I'm going to try to... Okay, um, sorry. I mean, want to be best friends. I'm like, are we, are we best friends? Also, now? your nails match my sweater. And my, and they match my, the iPhone. They are all, this color is very popular right now. Wow. Good, good for us. With this. We're so That's on trend. Um, what was the question? Oh, why was it important for me to do this movie? Yeah, I mean, just because with, you know, with pro-choice versus pro-life, that's not always discussed in film, but mm -hmm. in regards to women's rights and, you know, women not feeling ashamed of their choices and their body, I think that was a message kind of throughout the movie, even though it was hilarious. So was that a reason that you decided to kind of take the role? Yeah, I, I think that, I mean, obviously it was, um, I, I really did have to think and consider, you know, opening up this can of worms and being a part of that in this movie, especially because it's so ambitious and how it is this lighthearted, like teen comedy in a lot of ways. But um, like the challenge for me was being within that tone of a movie and then, but not making the sit, not making light of the situation that my character's in and the choice she makes, because that is kind of throughout the movie, like this very real and important and yeah. sensitive topic that I always felt like I really had to do justice to in every single scene. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of honestly terrifying for me, like imagining doing this movie because of that, because of how ambitious and complex um, it was to kind of explore all these different uh, situations and themes, but um, it also like inspired me to do it, that like possible challenge, because I was like, if we do this right, it really does have potential to get young people and families to watch this movie and start an actual open, honest conversation about, you know, sex and sex education and your options and um, abortion and and just and talking about those things and kind of lifting the the shame surrounding all of that yeah and I definitely think it did just that a lot of women feel ashamed you know to tell their mothers maybe what's going on in their personal lives just as your character struggled with in the film um I wanted to ask like what was that like collaborating with the directors and the writers and Barbie even on that topic? Like, how did you guys approach how you each were going to handle this situation? Um, well, I had, I had a lot of conversations with Rachel um, and I actually had worked with Rachel like eight years ago when I first moved oh, no. to on a Lifetime movie. So ah! I worked with Rachel and I, um, I like feel safe with Rachel and she was extremely open to collaborating. And I just, I never felt like silenced by any of my ideas or any conversations I wanted to have with her. Sorry, I just burped and <laughs> all day and I can't freaking stop. And I try to hide it and you probably wouldn't have even noticed that I was burping, but then I'd end up talking about it afterwards and drawing attention to it. So I'm you know what? you're very authentically you and it comes across right now in this interview and even in the movie you are authentically yourself and I think that's what people love about you that's and hot. no it's true and uh I I want to know my last thing before I wrap because I'm like running out of time chit-chatting with you but <laughs> what do you hope that audiences do take away from this movie besides that open conversation you know is it friendship what theme is it um well, I think the conversation is the most important thing. I think I just, there's a scene at the end of the movie with Veronica and her mom when they finally talk about um, what Veronica just did. And um, I think that scene is 
like just one of the most beautiful things about the movie. And I think it's the heart of the movie and the heart of what I hope people get from it. I hope people watch the movie beginning to end and no matter what, how they see the world, um, I hope that they can watch it all the way through to the end and see that conversation that's happening between mother and daughter who see the world completely differently and would make completely different choices in the same situation, yet they still have this love and um, unconditional love for one another. And Veronica's mom, all she wants, she says uh, that I love, I, what did she say? She said, I, f I forget the line she says, but it's a really good line. And I forget it, but it's good. And yeah. I just, I just think that that scene kind of even just standing alone is just how I wish the world was and how I wish people that saw things completely differently could just kind of come together and still have some sort of like respect and empathy. Yeah. Yeah, she she said she wouldn't make the same choice, but she under she she never understand it, but she still stands by her, and that's beautiful. And she could never hate her for anything, and um, yeah. yeah, there's well, a lot of hate right now in the world, and there is. Hopefully, I hate it. Hopefully, hopefully, this movie will bring some people some laughs and bring up a bigger conversation in a more constructive way. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. This thank interview you. was a blast. I really appreciate all of your time and I wish you the best of luck with everything. Ditto, back at you. You're beautiful again. Thank you so much. Right <laughs> back at you. Bye. Uh, all right. So Rachel, this is the coming of age story that discusses the controversial topic of pro-choice versus pro-life in a very comical way, but it is a message that is of importance. So why was it important for you to tell this story? Um, you know, as someone who has had an abortion, I want it to be destigmatized and I want it to be normalized. And I think there's a lot of um, unnecessary shame around this topic. And so having a film that so, so, uh, so boldly represents uh, how important reproductive rights are uh, was important to me. That's awesome. I think a lot of women might feel, you know, shame to tell their mothers or their families what's going on in their personal lives, just as Haley's character struggles with in the film. Um, why do you think there is such like a stigma around women and their bodies and these choices? I think that this this topic has become over stigmatized intentionally uh, through through propaganda, and um, that really. Uh, that's intentional because the less that we talk about abortion and reproductive rights, the more restrictive the laws become. And so, you know, for me, it's about presenting this story where she knows what she wants to do and she does it and she's grateful for it and, and her life goes on. And, you know, that's the, that's the experience that I had and that, that many women have and many, you know, one in four people who uh, can get an abortion in this country do get one. And so, it's actually much more normal than the than the um, than all the controversial all the controversial discussion around it. And so, you know, everyone knows and loves someone who has an abortion, and yet we've been taught that we're supposed to be ashamed of it. And I, I'm happy to be part of um, opening up that discussion. And, and is that what you're hoping that uh, audiences kind of take away from the film? Like, aside from the hilarious scenes of like the limo breaking down and, you know, all the things that they go through, is, is that really the conversation you're hoping to open up? For me, I mean, of course, there's so much about friendship and forging your own path in life. And so all of those elements I, I love about the film, um, I, you know, I, I'm excited to have, um, to just present a film that has, the, that opens up the conversation. I think that, uh, you know, the, that because there's shame around abortion, it's just not talked about enough. And so having a movie that just presents it um, and shows it and shows it's okay to talk about uh, is, is, you know, one of, one of the things that I'm excited about with the film. Definitely. And we can't talk about this film without talking about Haley and Barbie because they're, absolutely incredible throughout the entire movie. What was it like collaborating with them? Uh, a pure joy is what it was. Um, I just feel so lucky to have found the two best people possible for these roles. Um, I, I had worked with Haley 
years ago and we're, we were friends and I knew she would nail this role. And then Barbie came into audition and they did a chemistry read and it was absolute magic. And uh, I just feel really lucky to be working with such talented actors who also bring a lot of themselves and a lot of their ideas. You know, Barbie can can read a line five different ways and be hilarious every way. Uh, Haley works so hard to bring emotional truth to every moment and sort of find find who Veronica is and service servicing Veronica above all in every scene. And um, it was just a really great collaboration. And then on top of that, the fact that they got along so well and truly love each other, um, it, it was such a gift for, for me and for the movie because I think it really shows up on screen. It, it definitely does show up on screen. And there was just so many different little nuances throughout the film that were so funny. But what was your favorite scene that you guys shot? What was your favorite one that you did with them? It's hard to pick one, but I do have a real soft spot for the carnival ride. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> that I That I was so cruel and forced them to do eight times on that ride, those poor girls, but they were amazing. Um, you know, I, I just love their performance in that scene. I love how uh, the that scene is, it's obviously a serious scene where they're having a serious conversation, but they're thrust into this crazy situation. And that feels like the movie to me, that actually feels like it speaks to the larger film. Um, and on top of that, it was just genuinely very funny to watch them have to ride this ride over and over. Um, and, uh, you know, the, like each, uh, each take, they got a little braver at it, but I know that it was, it was hard for them. And I think they, I think they also had fun as well. Well, thank you so much for making a movie that takes the stigma out of abortion. I think you're doing something for women everywhere. So thank you so thank much you for that. And, and thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. <laughs>